We are on another trip and another topic to talk about is another old RPG from the PlayStation 1 era that got a new release on Switch. Last time we talked about Grandia and Grandia 2. Today we talk about the Moon RPG Remix Adventure. Some of you who are in the PlayStation role-playing game scene may know this one. It's a game from Love Delic. Uh, back then who later formed new companies and made games like Tulip and Captain Rainbow and things like that. Um, last year in November, I think, it got a port to Switch in Japan and it never came out in the West, not on PlayStation, not on Switch. Now, I think yesterday or two days ago, it finally appeared in English in the worldwide Switch store. And it's relatively cheap. On the German store, it's, I think, 16 euros, which is a steal, I think, for a brand new translation of an old school game that doesn't have a gigantic market. And I'm really happy about that. I want to support it, but I don't support digital games, which is sad. So I'm not getting it right now for Switch. What I am doing is I have pre-ordered the collector's edition from Japan, which has confirmed English text in there. So if you go to Play Asia or something and pre-order the special edition of Moon RPG Remix uh, in a collector's edition, I don't think there's a regular edition, it will have English text on the card. And because the game came out last year in Japan, I think all the patches are basically ironing out the entire game. So there should be no problem with a broken game on a cartridge. I'm really happy about that and the collector's edition contains a few extras. There's a CD in there. It says like theater CD or something. I guess it's a music CD, so the soundtrack, but I'm not 100% sure and I couldn't find the details on that. So if anybody knows, please tell me in the comments. Also, there's, I think, a postcard set uh, with pictures from the game, I guess. And which is most exciting, the development documents like the character sheets and everything. It's a folder of all of these sheets of paper and I'm excited for that. I love the behind the scenes stuff when it comes to media in general, movies, games, comics, books, everything like that. So I'm looking forward to that and of course the game on Switch. Right now there's no PlayStation release, no PC release, nothing. I'm sure it will come eventually and maybe it even gets an, a, a Western release then. But uh, I'm not waiting. I want to play this game. I've been wanting to play it for years. I don't know a lot about it. It, it, it advertises itself as an anti-RPG. So I, I know from tellings uh, from other people I've heard that you kind of begin the game in like a 16-bit RPG style. And you, the hero, you kill like dog monsters and other things. And then you get transformed into the RPG as the boy who's playing it. And then you realize the damage that Hero has done in that world. So the dog monster you, you battled was actually just a little dog from like a girl in a village or something. And you have to fix all the problems that Hero has done uh, in your own playthrough. Like you did everything in this first part of the game and then you have to fix it afterwards. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is like an awesome idea and I don't want to get spoiled on that. Uh, the physical release will release, I think, in mid-October. So there's enough time to pre-order it. It's not a limited edition or something. It's not limited run, not strictly digital or something. It's a proper release in the Japanese market and you can pre-order it anytime you want. It's really expensive. I think it was like with shipping a, like 97 euros is what I paid. Compared to a 60 euro, a 16 Euro um, digital release, I think that's a lot to pay for a few sheets of paper and a CD. But yeah, I'm happy to pay it. My thing is kind of, I like to support official Western releases of, of RPGs and games in general that never got a release um, outside of Japan. It was basically the only reason why I got the Secret of Mana collection because they transli translated Second Densetsu 3, uh, which was Trials of Mana in Japan, and they specifically supported that release uh, when it came out physically, because I wanted to support the translation of older games that never had a chance back in the day. 
So yeah, that's basically, that's really all I want to talk about. A physical release of Moon RPG Remix pre-ordered from your import store of choice. Comes with a few extras. It's really expensive, but it's the first English release of the game we ever got. See you in the next video. Bye.